Hi and a very good evening to all of you. I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for the upcoming examination. I am Gulapsa, your mentor for finance and I welcome you once again to our channel. Before starting with today's session, there is a big surprise for all of you guys coming the way. So please wait until the surprise is revealed to you. So let's get started with today's session. So Ashka session, it is the first session on YouTube answer writing practice specifically for finance. So before starting with the session, I would like to talk about certain key pointers. And I know all of these do's and don'ts, the SOP of writing an answer has already been well presented to you by Parul Ma'am as well as by Manisa. Please watch those uh, SOPs as well as the do's and don'ts and keep those pointers in your mind while writing an answer. Along with that, I would also like to add on certain points for you to practice well so that you can uh, fetch the maximum marks in the examination and also complete the paper on time. So these are certain pointers that I have mentioned for all of you guys. So apart from having or writing in a very simple language or having a clear structure of the answers, providing with crisp examples, you also need to start practicing your answer. Uske liye aapko kya karna hai? You need to practice your answer on a keyboard. Jitna purana keyboard ho, utna better aapki practice hogi. Please keep this in mind. So whenever you go and write your examination, jab bhi aap phase 1 clear karke phase 2 mein jate ho, so finance and management paper morning mein hoga, you will be all fresh. Half an hour will be for the objective. Once that half an hour ka time khatam hoga, you will have to start writing your answers. And trust me guys, jo aapko keyboard wahan pe provide kiya jata hai these are these are not that of supreme quality isliye in order to make sure that you have your hands on those keyboards and you could write much better you need to practice all of your answers on keyboard and not on laptop kabhi bhi laptop pe practice mat karna jitna purana laptop agar aap uh, jitna purana keyboard aapke ghar pe pada hua hai ya aapke friends ke paas hai ya fir market jaiye aur jitna purana ho utna purana keyboard लेकर आओ और अपनी प्रैक्टिस शुरू करो द सेकेंड पॉइंटर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक टू यू इज अबाउट टाइपिंग प्रैक्टिस इसकी क्या मेथडोलॉजी आपको फॉलो करनी है फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट नेवर प्रैक्टिस ऑन एम एस वर्ड वाई एम आई सेंग दिस आपको बहुत ज़्यादा आश्चर्य लग रहा होगा वाई गुलाबसा मैम इज सजेस्टिंग नॉट टू प्रैक्टिस ऑन एम एस वर्ड फॉर द सिंपल रीजन दैट एम एस वर्ड में ग्रीन लाइन्स आ जाती हैं या फिर ब्लू लाइन्स आ जाती हैं राइट एंड दैट टेल्स यू कि कहाँ पर मिस्टेक आप कर रहे हो बट इन द एग्जाम इन्वायरमेंट इफ यू सी इफ यू राइट योर आंसर्स यू आर नॉट प्रोवाइडेड विद दिस ग्रीन लाइन्स एंड ब्लू लाइन and for that and in order to practice in this manner only you should always practice on notepad right so practice all your answers on a notepad after you have done with your answers in the stipulated time you need to copy the answer that you have written and paste it over grammarly grammarly pe paste karo ya koi aur website hai jahan pe aapko pata chal jaye whatever grammatical mistakes that you are making whatever spelling mistakes as well as punctuation errors that you are making all of those could be checked using this grammarly and then only you will be able to refine your answers much better and produce better in the examination jab tak aap apne answers khud check nahi karoge self evaluate nahi karoge you will not be in a position to understand as to how a good answer should be theek hai so these are two important points that you need to keep in mind apart from that you also need to structure your answers well no doubt there are two basically two format of writing a good answer the first is a paragraph format and the other is a bullet format or the pointers format of writing an answer any day the bullet or the or the pointer format is more preferable as compared to the paragraph nonetheless if you want to write or there are certain answers that needs to be written in a paragraph format you need to ensure that all your paragraphs should not be more than 3 to 4 lines maximum 3 to 4 lines aapko sare paragraphs mein likhne hain and this this you need to keep in mind chahe kitna hi bada answer ho kitna hi complex points ho you need to structure your answer in such a manner similarly introduction 
body and conclusion you all know how to do a structure what fetches you the mark is that of introduction as well as conclusion body more or less sabki same hoegi answers mein how are you going to outstand and how are you going to showcase the examiner that your answer is better than those of the other candidate for the simple reason or by the simple reason is that of introduction and conclusion aapko apne introduction 3 to 4 lines ya fir 100 words mein likhne hain and that introduction should be in such a crisp manner agar aapke paas koi bahut hi acha pointer hai then you should always include those pointers in your introduction similarly aapka conclusion bahut chhota summarized way mein jo bhi aapka answer hai usko summar, summarize karna chahiye plus if there is a possible अगर पॉसिबिलिटी है तो ही आप उसमें एक ऐसी लाइन जस्ट वन लाइन ऐसा लिखोगे दैट टॉक्स अबाउट वे फॉरवर्ड ऑल्सो रिफ्रेन योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम राइटिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ ओपिनियंस अनलेस अदरवाइज आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन राइट तो दीज आर सर्टेन पॉइंटर्स दैट आई वांटेड टू शेयर विद यू अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट की वर्ड्स ये हमेशा याद रखना वेदर योर आंसर इज बींग चेकड बाय अ कंप्यूटर दैट इज सिस्टम ऑनलाइन चेक हो रही है इवन बाय अ मैनुअल चेकर अगर मैनुअल एग्जामिनर भी चेक कर रहा है यू शुड ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड दैट यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू यूज एस मच एज द की वर्ड्स एसोसिएटेड विद दैट आंसर लेट सपोज कोई आंसर है बेजल नॉर्म्स पे कोई आंसर है यू कैन नॉट फोगेट टू मैंशन द वर्ड बी सी बी एस the basel committee on banking supervision similarly capital adequacy ratio aise kuch terms hote hain which are very important or associated with such a committee aise terms aise keywords aap miss nahi kar sakte right so this thing you also need to keep in mind whether it is online checked or manual checked keywords plays a very important role apart from all those a very important point that i would like to share with all of you is to practice in an exam like environment why am i saying this is for the simple reason that Uh, not all of you would have been writing the face to examination again right for most of you it will be for the first time that you will you will be uh, acquainted to an exam like environment and you need to type your answers rather than writing so fm ka paper subah hota hai the first half an hour is very silent the environment is very silent but once you start writing the answer everyone around you writes the answer at the same time so bahut zyada news uh, noise hoti hai so keyboard everyone is using the keyboard bahut zyada khat 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 ki awaaz hoti hai so at times you might get anxious राइट आप एंशियस हो सकते हो सेकेंडली यू माइट फियर कि यार सब लिख रहे हैं आई एम अनेबल टू राइट मुझे आइडियाज ही नहीं आ रहे सो इन सच अ नॉइजी इन्वायरमेंट वेर एवरी वन वुड बी टाइपिंग टाइपिंग की नॉइज रहेगी यू नीड टू थिंक योर आंसर यू नीड टू स्ट्रक्चर योर आंसर एंड देन यू नीड टू प्रेजेंट योर आंसर आपको टाइप करना है वहीं पे विद इन द स्टिपुलेटेड टाइम तो ये चीज़ आपको बहुत ध्यान रखनी है आई नो फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ यू आपको ये लग रहा होगा कि ये ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है जस्ट टेक अ टास्क from me the task is you after this session once you have watched this session you are going to write an answer on your own maybe on the same topic jo maine aap jo hum abhi discuss karenge for finance answer writing and you are going to play youtube pe jao youtube pe jaake uh, keyboard typing noise right keyboard typing noise type kijiye i will also share this link in the description video ki link play this a uh, keyboard typing noise video the sound of this keyboard typing noise and then try to write an answer then you will understand ki kitna fark padta hai while writing an answer in the actual examination to jab tak aap ye practice inculcate nahi karoge jab tak aap ye roz roz nahi karoge ek discipline form nahi karoge i am sure it will be very difficult for you to answer well in the examination so these are small pointers jo aapko shayad koi bataye koi na bataye but aapko ye सारी चीजें अपने आंसर्स में या अपने प्रैक्टिस के टाइम इनकलकेट करना है सो लेट मी जस्ट समराइज यू इन अ ब्रीफ मैनर फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस ऑल आंसर प्रैक्टिस शुड बी डन ओवर द कीबोर्ड। कोई लैपटॉप पे प्रैक्टिस नहीं करनी सेकेंड एमएस वर्ड पे कोई आपको आंसर टाइपिंग नहीं करना है uh, नोट पैड पे करना है नोट पैड पे एक और बेनिफिट ये है कि वहाँ पे वर्ड लिमिट मेंशन नहीं होती सो यू आर गोइंग टू कीप अ स्टॉप वॉच आप एक टाइम सेट करोगे अपने हर आंसर्स के लिए एंड देन यू विल गेट टू नो कि आप एक 
टाइम फ्रेम में लेट सपोज देर इज अ टेन मार्क का क्वेश्चन जिसको आपको आंसर करना है एंड फॉर दैट अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स शुड बी टेकन टू आंसर सच अ क्वेश्चन राइट सो यू विल गेट एन आइडिया एज इस टाइम फ्रेम में हाउ मेनी वर्ड्स आई एम एबल टू एक्चुअली राइट राइट इसके अलावा वाइल टाइपिंग यू आर ऑल्सो सो दिस टाइपिंग प्रैक्टिस विल हेल्प यू टू हैव अ वर्ड पर लिमिट ये सब आपने सुना होगा राइट right? वर्ड पर मिनट दैट इज आपको इंश्योर करना है दैट यू आर एबल टू राइट एट द स्पीड ऑफ थर्टी मिनिमम थर्टी वर्ड्स पर मिनट इन ऑर्डर टू फिनिश योर आंसर्स ऑन टाइम ठीक है इसके अलावा आपको वेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग एन आंसर क्रिएट दट एग्जाम लाइक इन्वायरमेंट वेर बाय यू विल प्ले अ वीडियो की बोर्ड नॉइज की बोर्ड टाइपिंग नॉइज वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब एंड देन यू विल स्टार्ट practicing or writing your answers right iske alawa i always uh, tell my students even in the uh, enroll even in the classes as well that whenever you write your answers so you have a 10 marker question and a 15 marker question so for a 10 marker question the maximum time that could be allotted is 20 minutes always try to answer it in 15 minutes similarly for a 15 Fifteen marker question. The maximum time allotted is twenty-five, and you need to write the answer in twenty minutes. Why am I saying this? For the simple reason. Let's suppose there is a fifteen. Ah, uh, fifteen minutes. Me, you have to write the answer. The remaining five minutes, you are going to use that. to review review your answers jab tak aap review nahi karoge you will not understand kya kya mistakes aapne commit kiye hain let's suppose there will be grammatical mistakes punctuation errors certain ideas will not be flowing logically to un sab cheezon ko aapko dhyan rakhna hai so i hope this pointers are beneficial to all of you so with that let's start with today's answer so this is the question that we are going to discuss why have we taken this question for the simple reason that ucb ke liye urban cooperative banks regulatory changes were introduced recently and we all know short notes agar aap past year papers dekhoge so once you do the analysis of the past year papers then you will understand that uh, in the past year papers short notes have been asked on a lot number of topics for example national housing bank pe pucha gaya hai sebi pe pucha gaya hai similarly we expect or we can expect that uh, since this regulatory framework has been introduced both for nbfcs as well as as well as for the urban cooperative banks it makes sense for us to practice a full fledged answer on this theek hai again exam mein itna uh, uh, is quote ke sath question aaye zaruri nahi hai but this is just to give you an understanding an overview ki agar aisa question aaye to aapko kaise answer karna hai right so let me read the question for you the question says cooperatives are a reminder to the international community that it is possible to pursue both economic viability as well as social responsibility in the light of this statement explain the recent regulatory changes brought by rbi for the urban co operative banks also mention the criteria for classifying ucb as a financially sound and well managed to ye do terms hain jo aapko dhyan rakhne hain so whenever a question appears in front of you let's suppose this is a 15 marker question so aapko maximum kitna 25 minutes milega out of this 25 minutes 5 minutes will be for you to review the answer once you have written everything right remaining 20 minutes out of this the first 1 minute you are going to read the question twice and then identify the key words that the question is asking you what is the demand of the question question kya demand kar raha hai aapse first and foremost the question talks about the recent regulatory changes brought by RBI for UCBs so aap directly to start nahi karoge you are going to start with an introduction your introduction should highlight the importance of UCBs UCBs ki importance highlight होनी चाहिए एंड यू शुड ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाउ यूसीबीज आर डिस्टिंक्ट फ्रॉम अ कमर्शियल बैंक बिकॉज द because through the usage of this cooperatives and we all know ucb is a kind of cooperative and a bank as well how is a ucb able to pursue both economic viability as well as social responsibility so introduction may you will talk about ucb 
सिमिलरली आपकी बॉडी आ जाएगी वेर बाई आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रिसेंट रेगुलेटरी चेंजेस ब्रॉट अबाउट इन यू सी बी एंड दिस टॉपिक वी हेव ऑल्सो कवर्ड इन आर फाइनेंस आर बी आई टू फोर सेवन सीरीज मैंने आपको ये टॉपिक पढ़ाया हुआ है तो आप वहाँ से देख सकते हो हाउ द टॉपिक दैट आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू द पी पी टी यूजिंग दोज पी पी टी इसमें जो पॉइंटर्स हैं उसको यूज करके ही आप पूरा आंसर प्रोड्यूस कर सकते हो दैट वुड मेक मोर सेंस ठीक है सो बॉडी में अगर टॉक अबाउट द रिसेंट रेगुलेटरी changes followed by the criteria so see these are two questions so sabse pehle recent regulatory changes ke liye aap kya karoge body mein answer likhoge whatever the regulatory changes have been brought forward aur uska ek chhota sa conclusion if it is possible you can write or a introduction similarly for the second point criteria for classifying ucbs as financially sound and well managed iske liye bhi you can write a very small intro right ek se do line ka intro likhoge फिर पूरी क्राइटेरिया एक्सप्लेन करोगे एंड देन यू कैन कंक्लूड अगेन विथ वन लाइन एंड यू नीड टू एंश्योर दैट ऑल दिज आंसर सो देर आर टू आंसर्स टू बी रिटर्न इन दिस स्पेसिफिक वन आंसर शुड बी विद इन योर सिक्स हंड्रेड वर्ड्स यू शुड नेवर एवर एक्सीड दिस सिक्स हंड्रेड वर्ड्स ठीक है आप चाहे सात सौ वर्ड्स लिख लो हजार वर्ड्स लिख लो बट द एग्जामिनर विल ओनली अप्रिशिएट योर आंसर इफ इट इज विद इन दी सिक्स हंड्रेड वर्ड्स फाइव फिफ्टी टू सिक्स हंड्रेड वर्ड्स इज द ऑप्टिमम नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट यू शुड अटेम्प्ट फॉर अ फिफ्टीन मार्क अ क्वेश्चन सो आई होप आपको समझ आ गया है नाउ द आंसर दैट आई हैव रिटर्न उसके थ्रू मैं आपको एक्सप्लेन करूंगी कि एक आंसर को आपको कैसे लिखना है ठीक है सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सबसे पहले इन्होंने एक कोट uh, दिया हुआ है वेर बाई दे टॉक अबाउट हाउ कोऑपरेटिव्स इंश्योर्स बोथ इकोनॉमिक वायबिलिटी एंड सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सबसे पहले मैंने स्टार्ट किया विद द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक एंड टू एनरिच माई आंसर की वर्ड्स मैंने यहाँ पे क्या यूज किया द की वर्ड्स आई हैव यूज इज दिस बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट as applicable to cooperative societies you all know that with the insertion of section 56 i guess jo maine aapko padhaya tha with the insertion of this in the banking regulation act cooperative banks were brought in under the purview of the बैंक्स ठीक है उसको एक बैंक का दर्जा दिया गया था तो मैंने उसको यहां पे यही बताया है दैट एंड फॉर दैट रीजन द बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट वाज अमेंडेड so my introduction says the banking regulation act 1949 as applicable to the cooperative societies defines urban cooperative bank as a cooperative society other than a primary agricultural credit society whose principal business is the transaction of banking business right so the principal business of ucb is of banking business and has paid up share capital and reserves of at least 1 lakh so this definition we have already talked about in our rbi 247 session series theek hai ab aage badhte hain now i have also talked about their peculiarities so whereby i have said that they function under the dual control of the respective state or central government and the reserve bank and that's that's the reason why they were brought under uh, AACS right banking regulation act AACS which makes these institutions distinctly different from the commercial banks ठीक है ये चीज मैंने यहां पे आपको मेंशन कर दिया एज इंट्रोडक्शन बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स then i have talked about the regulatory changes that have been brought forward so here i say that the recent regulatory changes brought by rbi for ucbs are aimed at enhancing the viability and sustainability of the urban cooperative banks while ensuring that they fulfill their social responsibility towards their members and the community at large so yahan pe jo inhone court ke form mein mujhe ek statement diya tha i have justified that as well right and again लेट मी वॉन यू जरूरी नहीं है कि हर बार आप जस्टिफाई करो कई बार द सेंटेंस जस्ट टॉक्स अबाउट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आपका क्वेश्चन रेगुलेटरी चेंजेस ही हैं बट इफ यू फ्रेम योर आंसर इन सच अ वे दैट इट ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट द स्टेटमेंट और जस्टिफाइज द स्टेटमेंट देन दिस पॉइंट और दिस पैराग्राफ एक्चुअली एंड रिच इज योर आंसर ठीक है Now let's move forward to the body part. Body में मैंने कैसे लिखा है वो आपको बताती हूँ First and foremost, I've talked about the following are the major regulatory changes introduced by RBI for UCBs. Simple, basic, simple language, right? 
First, four-tiered regulatory framework. So, I have said that based on the recommendation of the Expert Committee on Urban Cooperative Banks 2021, headed by Sri N.S. Vishwanathan, this we have already talked about. So, these are certain keywords that I have mentioned and that's the reason why Jo Mene Yaha Pe Bold Kiya Hua Hai. During, uh, while writing or attempting your exam, Aap Aise Bold Nahi Kar Paoge, right? So, you will not be able to either bold, italic or underline your answer. Secondly, you will not be able to put up any kind of bullets. In that case, aapko kya karna hai? you need to create your own bullet, right? How are you going to create your own bullet? Is by simple, you can create, aise bhi create kar sakte ho, ya fir aap kya kar sakte ho, the main heading of a specific point aapne likha, do not start writing from here, that based on the recommendation, aise yahan se likhna start mat karna, always Press the enter button or second line se fir aap apna answer start kar sakte ho. The explanation to the main heading. Similarly, you can also create or use this star sign in order to differentiate. Agar, let's suppose I had to differentiate this, main yaha pe star sign laga deti. Do star sign laga deti, right? So, this is how you are going to create your own bullets. So, I have said that the RBI, so based on the recommendation of this committee, right? The RBI adopted a four-tiered regulatory framework for UCBs. Now, according to this, UCBs will be categorized based on your deposit size. So, this is again very important. Agar up NBFCs ki regulatory structure ya framework ko dekhoge, they are categorized based on assets, the net assets. However, UCBs are categorized based on their deposit size. So, this is again an important keyword that you have uh, told your examiner ki dekho mujhe pata hai, right? You know the answer. Next, the aim is to have differentiated regulatory prescriptions aimed at strengthening the financial soundness of the UCB. So, it gives a very structured answer, right? Ek idea ka flow hai, whereby you have first of all started a committee baiti hui thi, which was headed by Shri N.S. Vishwanathan, which had a recommendation kiya tha for the UCB and based on that, RBI adopted a four-tier structure for UCB. Now, this structure is based on as a deposit size, right? What is the aim to have a different or a tiered structure for UCB? For the simple reason that this is aimed at strengthening the financial soundness of UCB. Simple. Uske baad mein directly jo char structures hain, wo explain kar diye hain, whereby I have said tier 1, which encompasses of all units UCB and salary, uh, salary earners UCB, irrespective of deposit side deposit size and all other UCBs having deposits of up to rupees 100 crore. Similarly, tier 2 UCBs with deposits more than 100 crores and up to 1000 crore. Uh, tier 3 UCBs with deposits more than 1000 crores and up to 10,000 crores. And finally, tier 4 UCBs with deposits more than 10,000 crores. So, ye maine aapko first regulatory changes that has been brought forward for UCB I have explained. Second, I have talked about net worth. So, there was changes whereby RBI has in actually increased the net worth that is required to be maintained by these UCBs, right? By these different UCBs. So, here I say that the RBI also introduced a minimum net worth requirement for the UCBs to be achieved on or before 31st March 2028. We all know that when we that a gliding path was given for these UCBs to maintain their minimum net worth as well as capital adequacy. So, that year I have mentioned here. The maximum time frame that has been provided by RBI to these UCBs. UCBs. Okay? Then I say according to this, all UCBs falling under tier 1 and operating in a single district will be required to have a minimum net worth of rupees 2 crore. So, here I have talked about tier 1 and operating in a single district. Tier 1 ke andar hai aur single district mein agar operate kar raha hai to. Similarly, all other UCBs. So, all other tier 1 plus tier 2, 3 and 4 will be required to maintain a minimum net worth of rupees 5 crores. Ab ye jo question hai na, you need need to know these numbers. Agar aapne ye numbers mentioned nahi kiye, trust me, the examiner will not be giving you good marks, right? The third regulatory changes is with regards to capital adequacy, whereby I have written that in order to ensure the stability and solvency of the banking system, the RBI requires banks to have a minimum level of capital adequacy ratio as a regulatory measure. Ab dekho, Chahe capital adequacy ratio maintain karni hai ya net worth maintain karna hai. These are all regulatory changes that are 
द रेगुलेटरी मेजर्स डेट आर इंट्रोड्यूस बाय आरबीआई इस मेजर्स के थ्रू ही आरबीआई इन एंटिटीज को रेगुलेट करती हैं सो दिस आई हैव मेंशन देन आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट सी अगेन दिस आर फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन राइट आपको फैक्चुअल डेटा प्रोवाइड करना पड़ेगा सो आई हैव रिटन दैट फॉर यूसीबीज एस वेल सो बैंकिंग सिस्टम के लिए आरबीआई कैपिटल एडुकेसी रेशियो बोलती है मेंटेन करने के लिए सिमिलरली फॉर द यूसीबीज एस वेल सो फॉर यूसीबीज एस वेल आरबीआई हैज इंस्ट्रक्टेड टियर 1 यूसीबी टू मेंटेन अ मिनिमम सीआर AR of 9% on an ongoing basis and for tier 2 to 4 UCB a minimum CRAR of 12% is to be achieved latest by 31st March 2026. So the time period the gliding path within which such UCBs are required to maintain both uh, their net worth as well as the capital adequacy has been mentioned. Okay? So this tells the examiner that you know the entire facts and figures the concepts in detail. Conclusively, आपको पता है कि क्या-क्या changes लाए गए हैं. Now, the second question, if you see, talks about, so the second question says that explain, uh, yes, also mention the criteria for classifying UCB as a financially sound and well managed. इसके लिए भी आप दो लाइन में introduction दोगे, फिर जो criteria हैं, वो बताओगे, simple, straight forward आप answer दोगे, and a one-liner conclusion would sum up it very beautifully. So let's see second part कैसे लिखना है. Again, अगर आप notice कर पा रहे हो, here the second part I have written it in caps lock. Since bold करने को आपको option नहीं मिलेगा, how are you going to differentiate part one of your answer with part two? That you can do by using bold. So by using caps lock. तो आप capital में पूरा टॉपिक का नाम लिखोगे फाइनेंशियली साउंड एंड वेल मैनेज यूसीबीस एंड देन यू विल स्टार्ट विथ योर आंसर राइट सो द आंसर बिगिंस इन नॉर्डर टू एंश्योर अ फाइनेंशियली साउंड एंड स्टेबल कोऑपरेटिव सेक्टर द आरबीआई बेस ऑन सर्टेन पैरामीटर्स आइडेंटिफाइज सिलेक्ट यूसीबी एस फाइनेंशियली साउंड एंड वेल मैनेज तो वन लाइनर में मैंने बता दिया कि आरबीआई क्यों कुछ यूसीबीस को एफएसडब्ल्यूएम बोलती है सो इन ऑर्डर टू एंश्योर अ फाइनेंशियली साउंड एंड स्टेबल कोऑपरेटिव सेक्टर now the following are the revised criteria हमें latest criteria हमें हमेशा बताना है laid by RBI for determining FSWM UCBs ठीक है अब अगर आपने video देखा हुआ है which was taken on RBI 247 then वहाँ पे just this pointers are given Similarly, अगर आप RBI की website पे जाओगे, only these informations are being provided, right? But in order to enrich your answer, in order to make your answer better, आप क्या कर सकते हो? छोटे-छोटे head headings provide कर सकते हो, headlines provide कर सकते हो, right? तो मैंने सबसे पहले, since it talks about CRAR ratio, I've talked about capital adequacy. First criteria is that of capital adequacy, whereby these UCBs will be required to maintain at least one person above the minimum CRAR applicable to these UCBs. Okay? So let's suppose a 12% uh, CRAR ratio or a capital adequacy ratio is required to be maintained by a UCB in tier 4. Then in order to be classified as a financially sound and well managed UCB, tier 4 UCB will have to maintain a, at least a minimum capital adequacy ratio of 13%. So I hope you have understood this. Second, it talks about NPA. So I have written here asset quality. Whereby the net NPA should not be more than 3%. So a maximum of 3% would be allowed. Then I have talked about profitability. Because it was net profit, so I have given it a heading of profitability. Whereby I have said the net profit for at least 3 out of the preceding 4 years subject to it not having incurred net loss in the immediately preceding year. So, teens out of the four preceding years, the UCB will have to require to have a net profit in three years. Also, subject provided that in the last year, immediately last year, it has net profit and not net loss. उसके बाद हेल्प टॉक्स अबाउट मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सर्टेन रेशियोस व्हाय आर दिस रेशियोस मेंटेन सो दैट इन केस इफ एनी डिपॉजिटर्स और इफ ऑल द डिपॉजिटर्स और सर्टेन डिपॉजिटर्स कम्स टू द बैंक टू डिमांड देयर मनी द बैंक्स हैव सफिशिएंट रिजर्व्स सफिशिएंट लिक्विडिटी विद देम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रिजर्व्स इन ऑर्डर टू मीट द डिमांड ऑफ द डिपॉजिटर्स सो देयरफॉर द वर्ड लिक्विडिटी हैज बीन मेंशनड हियर सो आई से नो डिफॉल्ट इन द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सीआरआर और एसएलआर ड्यूरिंग द प्रीसीडिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर सो देयर शुड बी नो 
फोल्ड लेट सपोज अगर सी आर आर रेशियो या फिर एस एल आर रेशियो इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी मेंटेन एट एटीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सो दिस शुड बी मेंटेन राइट ये आपको मेंटेन करना ही है एंड यू शुड नॉट डिफॉल्ट ड्यूरिंग लास्ट ईयर उसके बाद आ जाता है साउंड इंटरनल कंट्रोल सिस्टम विथ एटलीस्ट टू प्रोफेशनल डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ द बोर्ड राइट सो दिज आर सर्टन एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया लेट डाउन बाय आर बी आई इसके अलावा कोर बैंकिंग सोल्यूशन शुड बी फुल्ली इम्प्लीमेंटेड राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ दीज दीज यू सी बीज शुड नॉट हैव बिन इम्पोज सो आर बी आई शुड नॉट हैव इम्पोज एनी काइंड ऑफ मॉनिटरी पेनल्टी ऑन दीज यू सी बीज ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ वायोलेशन ऑफ आर बी आई डायरेक्टिव और आर बी आई गाइडलाइंस ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर्स ठीक है सो लेट्स अबाउट टू में कोई यू क्लेम करता है दैट इट इज अ financially sound and well managed ucb in that case for the financial year of 2021 and 22 they should have adequate uh they should not have any kind of monetary penalty imposed on them so ye answer maine aapko bata diya now introduction a very brief introduction was given the body part talks about entirely simply the criteria and finally i have concluded with these lines so it says that all those ucbs that meets the above criteria will be classified as fswm by rbi right now such classification will indicate that the ucb is financially sound well managed which is the full form of this and has the ability to fulfill its obligation towards its depositors and other stakeholders as such they will be allowed to come under the automatic route for branch expansion what is the benefit that any ucb will be getting once it is classified as fswm wo batana zaruri hai in order to conclude your answer kyun criteria laya gaya hai why would an why would a ucb uh, ever want to be classified as fswm for the simple reason that they will now come under the automatic route whereby they can uh, they will be allowed to expand their branches so 10 person up to 10 person they will be allowed to expand their branches so again you could have also mentioned it 10 person provided you had the sufficient word limit with you so this is the answer that i have prepared for you i hope aapko samajh aa gaya hoga ki kaise ek answer ko likhna hota hai and how you are going to write the introduction the body part and the conclusion again students please make use of this time acche se please practice karo phase 2 tak wait mat karo ki phase 1 ho jayega to hi main phase 2 answers ki practice karungi do not make this mistake right what you can do at max kya kar sakte ho लीस्ट क्या कर सकते हो अभी आप फेज वन के प्रिपरेशन के साथ नोटिफिकेशन कभी भी आ सकती है द लीस्ट दैट यू कैन डू नाउ इज दैट यू कैन स्टार्ट राइटिंग वन कंप्लीट टेस्ट अब खुद क्वेश्चन बनाओ नहीं बना पा रहे प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन आई ऑलवेज टेल स्टूडेंट्स कि प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन उठाओ एनालाइज एंड देन आइडेंटिफाई फ्रॉम ईच टॉपिक वॉट एवर द टॉपिक हैज इन मैंशन इन द सिलेबस ईच टॉपिक से क्या क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है एंड देन ट्राई राइटिंग योर आंसर in an exam like environment what is the exam like environment you are going to play the music the noise that is the keyboard typing noise on your youtube and then you are going to write your answer in a stipulated time right stipulated time mein aapko answer karna hai so one complete test consisting of four questions aapko dene hain har week so promise to me students that every week you are going to complete one test and once you are done with phase 1 phase 1 ka result aa gaya or you are done with your phase 1 examination the one month period that you will get you are going to write three complete test one of fm one of esi and the one of english descriptive ye aapko roz likhna hai so that you are in the habit of writing the answers on the keyboard and not on laptop and trust me guys if you do this diligently if you promise to me and to yourself that you are going to do this then trust me your selection is for sure aapki selection ho ke rahegi dekho phase 1 aapka waise bhi qualifying hai marks would not be counted for your final selection the interview stage you do not know what type of question or what kind of the board you will be getting for the interview so where can you score maximum where can you increase your chance of success is in phase 2 to aapko apna phase 2 sabse best karna hai right 
so this was all for today i hope you enjoyed the session such similar answer writing sessions will be taken up regularly on the youtube platform as well so both the youtube students as well as the enrolled students please watch this sessions and try to get an idea as to how an answer should be written so i hope the session was helpful in case if you have any uh, suggestions you can always write it down in the comment section and also do not forget that our team is coming up with a surprise so stay tuned for it all the best very guys uh, all the best uh, all the best everyone right and god bless bye bye